It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, people, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions. And today, I want to go into something kind of touching on another area of a warrantless search. Now, one, another case that was brought up in regards to this is Wyoming v. Horton. Now, the crux of the case is the police officers being able to search someone, in this case the passenger, to which a container was the object of the search. Now, here's the here's the thing, because I always talk about if and or being the biggest words in law. I just did a case, maybe a day or so ago, regarding police officers actually searching and there being a search that was warrantless that was absent exigent circumstances. This case is one that kind of follows that narrative, but it also has the same directive. Because in order for it to apply, there must be probable cause in order for the search to be upheld. Because without probable cause, and only the stop being lawful, everything else is still subject to being dismissed or suppressed during a map hearing. That's why it's important to not only challenge the stop, but to challenge every other aspect of it, even if it's a speeding ticket. So, keep that in mind. There must not only be a legitimate stop, there must also be a means of probable cause that only come from a crime. Thank you for all those that have been donating and supporting the channel. Don't forget to support the podcast. Don't forget to sign up for Patreon because we're going to keep going. We're going to keep growing. And we're also getting ready to start having memberships for the channel. So be on the lookout because, like I said, we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep going. Talk to you guys soon. Supreme out.